No, this isn't your sister. This is the blobfish. This image of the blobfish is the most well-known of any image of what a blobfish actually looks like. And this particular blobfish was named Mr. Blobby. And Mr. Blobby was actually voted as the world's ugliest animal in 2013. But even though he won an award, his story is kind of sad. You see, Mr. Bobby didn't always look like this. Like other blobfish, he lives deep down about 4,000 feet on the ocean floor and waits for food to come into his mouth. And since he couldn't see very well, he got caught in a fishing net and was brought to the surface. And when a blobfish is taken out of the water, it decompresses due to low pressure where it starts to look like, well, a blob. This is because their bodies have very soft bones and very little muscles and are a jelly-like fish. Mr. Blobby ended up dying. He was placed in a jar and he was put in a museum where he's living today. If Mr. Blobby was still in the ocean, he probably would live to be over 100 years old. Mostly because blobfish don't have any predators. I mean, seriously though, look at this thing. Who's going to eat it? You? This story is about a fish named Timmy. Timmy... Oh wait, never mind, Timmy died. This story is now about the frogfish. There are over 50 species of frogfish and they are members of the anglerfish family. These things are very awkward looking little things and are often mistaken, well, for basically anything. They are masters of disguise and are ambush predators. They sit and wait at, well, oops, sometimes their cover's blown. But when things do work out for them like it's supposed to, they will swallow almost anything that comes close, including other frogfish. Just like the anglerfish, they can have these little blings that attract prey. Frogfish are not very good at walking, swimming, or even sometimes hiding, but they do have one of the fastest bites in the animal kingdom. Their mouths are so big they can even eat things as big as themselves. If you think clowns are creepy, then this little thing is probably going to freak you out even more. The mantis shrimp has some pretty unique eyeballs. Imagine colors that you can't even imagine. Now do that nine more times and that's what a mantis shrimp sees. But oddly enough, the mantis shrimp is pretty bad at discerning colors that humans can see, which is probably why it dresses like an idiot. Kinda like clowns. And just like the modern day clown, the mana shrimp has a psychopathic killing instinct. Mana shrimps are divided into two categories. The stabbers have these little spears that are attached to their front claws which stab and scoops prey. These stabbers play a game of hide and seek. It hides and waits which basically sucks for anyone else who isn't hiding. The smasher mana shrimp have these little bowling balls on the end of their arms that they use to punch well, basically anything. They have the fastest punch in the world. They deliver a punch of 1,500 newtons of force, which tells you what a sissy punch Newton must have had. Their punch is so powerful, it even heats up the water when it strikes. It creates a shock wave of force, and many animals in the sea are afraid of these psycho killing shrimps. This fish might look like your grandpa's fingers that have been in the water too long, but this shark is pretty vicious. This is the goblin shark, and they have the fastest jaws in the ocean. They are slow swimmers, but when they're ready to strike, they extend their jaws out at 10 feet per second. It's so fast that you can only see it in slow motion. They are rarely seen, but can get up to 18 feet long. They have been found in oceans all over the world at about 2,000 feet deep. Their skin is a translucent pinkish color. The goblin shark has a long snout that can detect the heartbeat of its prey. And when it does, it uses that slingshot strike to catch its food with its nail-like teeth. Hey, that shark needs braces just as bad as I do. What if I told you that this shark was over 500 years old and is older than William Shakespeare? Let me explain. You see, these sharks in Greenland are what scientists have known to be the oldest living vertebrae in the world. Greenland sharks are pretty ugly and weird looking creatures. They have long, thick gray bodies with a short round nose on their head. This one shark is about 18 feet long and has been studied for years by scientists. Scientists have found a way to predict the age of the shark by studying their eyes. The size of their eyes compared to the size of these sharks' bodies help estimate the age. And since Greenland sharks grow about one centimeter a year, this particular shark, who we will now call Romeo, is estimated to be about 512 years old, which makes it being born before William Shakespeare. These sharks are slow swimmers and spend most of their lives swimming around looking for a mate. So my only question is, looking like that, can this Romeo find his Juliet? This is the closest thing to what we think the Kraken would actually look like. This is the giant squid. In 1976, the USS Stein was attacked by an unknown species of giant squid. And in 1978, the rubber coating of the sonar dome was damaged by multiple cuts over 8% of the dome's surface. Nearly all of the cuts contain remnants of sharp curved claws found on the rims of suction cups of some squid tentacles. The claws are much larger than those of any squid that had been discovered at that time. What if you could flip your skin inside out to where your body parts on the outside? Yeah. Yeah, that would be stupid and gross. But that's what the vampire squid does. Only this creature isn't a squid, but looks like an octopus, but yet isn't even an octopus. And it's not even a bloodsucker, but it gets the name vampire squid because of its webbed arms that look like a cape. Anytime it feels threatened, it opens up its arm to show these spines to deter predators. And if that fails, it expels a shimmering cloud of bioluminescence and vanishes in the thin air. This is the Slenderman of the ocean, and it's even creepier than Slenderman. This video is taken from deep down in the Gulf of Mexico and shows this alien looking squid. This is a very rare type of squid and grows up to 20 feet long. 
They slowly swim and drag their long creepy tentacles across the sea floor. And when they touch something, they snatch it up. These fish come in all shapes and sizes of ugly. Like a rainbow of ugly. These are the female angler fish. The male angler fish is much smaller than the females like a tiny little baby. When it's time to make more uglies, the male angler fish will attach itself to the female by biting her. Then his face is digested and he fuses with the female until not much is left. So the female ends up looking like this. Hey pretty lady. What makes an angler fish special is their ability to hunt. They have these little neat things that they wave in front of their mouths to attract their prey. It might look like a worm, a pom-pom, or even a little hat feather. And if that prey gets too jealous of the bling, they're gobbled up. The deep sea angler fish collects glowy glowy particles in its wavy thing on its head. This creates a tiny little light on its head because it's super dark deep down where they live. And someone has to light up that pretty little lady. Are narwhals fake? There is this theory that has been spread around that narwhals are fake. Narwhals are a species of dolphin that is only found in certain parts of the world. But people say that since you never seen a narwhal and I've never seen a narwhal and everyone you know hasn't seen a narwhal they must be fake right but here's the thing narwhals can't be kept in zoos and they have these long teeth that make them look like unicorns yes that's a tooth not a horn and so people don't think they actually exist and all the videos and all the footage is some sort of advanced CGI but narwhals are actually very shy and are seriously afraid of humans and rightfully so since humans do hunt them